when we build algorithms that have a high impact on our users, we need to make sure that the algorithm is so-called unbiased. This means that the algorithm behaves in the same way for both majority and minority groups. Maybe the best way to explain this is by using an example. Suppose that I built a decision algorithm for credit risk. This means that, for instance, I am working in a financial institution and I built a model that analyzes loan applications. So in that case, I want to make sure that that algorithm is kind of fair and unbiased. So how does that work? Let's suppose that I'm a working for a financial institution here in Belgium. In Belgium, we have two different uh, official languages, Dutch and French. Now, if you are operating a financial institution here in Belgium, you want to make sure that the loan application algorithm actually works in the same fashion for Dutch speakers and French speakers. Now, how would you like to, how can you realize this? Well, first of all, you could try to remove the language attribute from the data set. So if the algorithm somehow does not know the language that I speak, how could it be actually biased? Well, actually here in Belgium, the northern part of the country is Dutch speaking, while the southern part of the country is French speaking. So by using the geography, um, I can actually backward engineer the language. This is called redundant encoding. So actually just simply removing the attribute does not really help. The second approach that you can take is by defining what we call demographic parity. In that case, you want the results to be exactly the same for Dutch and French speaking people. This is in general a fair approach. However, if for whatever reason, the northern part would be generally more risk taking than the southern part, then it would mean that the French speaking population here in Belgium would actually pay for the risk-taking behavior of the northern part, which is again, sometimes not considered to be fair. And so in that case, we sometimes opt for a third definition of bias, which is defining it through what is called equalized odds. In equalized odds, we are going to enforce the algorithm in such a way that the algorithm makes the same mistakes irrespective of the language. So in that case, it is possible indeed that somehow loans for the Dutch speaking population are going to be more expensive than for the South, but in general, the prediction error should be the same for both minority groups. We test for um, bias by defining quantitative measures to be able to automatically detect from the data and from the model outputs if a model is actually biased. However, before we can actually decide on what are the, the best measures to use, we have to define or decide which definition of bias we are going to use, meaning demographic parity, equalized odds, or equalized opportunity. Mm -hmm.